Can people have red irises? I've heard this question floating around from time to time, and it brings to mind images of supernatural beings from sci-fi and horror flicks. But we're not talking about vampires or the latest mutants from a comic book series. We're talking about straight-up biology. So, let's cut to the chase. The short answer is no. People cannot naturally have red irises. But why not? It all comes down to genetics and the way our bodies produce pigment. The color of our irises is determined by the amount and distribution of melanin. People with a lot of melanin have brown or black eyes, while those with a little less have green or hazel eyes, and those with very little have blue eyes. There simply isn't any natural mechanism for producing a red color in the iris. The red eyes you might have seen are usually due to a photographic effect known as red eye, caused by camera flash bouncing off the blood-rich retinas at the back of the eye, or it could be attributed to albinism. In individuals with albinism, the iris doesn't have enough pigment to block light from bouncing inside the eye and reflecting back out. This lack of pigment can make the eyes appear red or violet in certain lighting conditions. That said, it is theoretically possible to alter eye color through surgery or the use of colored contact lenses. But naturally occurring red irises? That's a domain left to the imagination, stashed next to unicorns and pixie dust. Now living here in Portland, Oregon, you get to overhear quite a diverse range of topics in the coffee shops, from sustainability to tech innovations, and yes, even to the occasional off-the-wall genetic curiosity like red irises. Maybe it's something in the rain here. In the end, the little quirks of nature tend to throw us curveballs. If you catch someone with truly red eyes, odds are they're probably sporting some particularly convincing contacts. And sure, it'd be a striking look to rock, but it might just be a bit too intense for the morning rush at the local Stumptown Coffee.